It is Christmas Eve, and for those looking to make new traditions, you might want to check out a very special spot in South Windsor. There, the magic and wonder of the holiday is captured in one homeowner's lawn. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell takes us to the home that's become a local holiday landmark. Take a look. And you can see why this gigantic display is right here on Felt Road here in South Windsor. It's put on each night during the holiday season. And if you've lived here long enough, you know about it. This started very small, very simple. But as each year went by, it grew to what you see now. It's so magical coming here every year. In South Windsor, it doesn't feel like Christmas until you take in the sights at the Christmas house on Felt Road. The house that we talk about every year. Minor traffic jams form as families from near and far flock to Tom Del Nicky's home as part of their annual tradition. Every Christmas Eve we stop by here, can't, won't miss it for the world. I have folks in the western part of the state that come here, eastern part of the state. Springfield, they come down. Donicki started this in 1999. 20 years later, it's grown into a full-fledged attraction. I truly never thought it would actually grow to this point and become the wonderful display it is. It comes with more than 70,000 bulbs, a mile of electrical cable, four to six weeks of assembly, and an Eversource bill that Donicki says is $1,000 higher during the holidays. For the joy it brings to people, it's well worth it. Something new is added each year. We're also going to see a dragon, a Christmas dragon on yeah. the roof of a house. And each piece has a story. I have second generation folks here, you know, literally that came as children years ago, and now they have a family and they come here to see the lights. The wonder isn't lost on the thousands who drive or walk by each year. I've lived all over the country. This is the best display I've ever seen. It's really special to have something like this in our hometown. It's, it's really very special to us. Donicki also happens to be a state rep in South Windsor, and we saw it tonight. These displays push politics aside. It brings people from all parties, faiths, and backgrounds together in harmony. Donicki says that is why he does this, and that brings him his Christmas joy. I believe in paying it back. I believe in, in doing something good for the community. Now, the whole display is free, and yes, there will be some traffic, but it is well worth it. And if you'd like to pitch in, the homeowner does take canned food donations, which he does deliver later on to the South Windsor Food and Fuel Bank. We're here in South Windsor tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel Therapist News.